Hey guys, I want to give you an update on our Sun Gold Power 18,000 watt inverter. Guys, this is a basic no frills inverter. It is a power producing machine. That's all it does is produce power. I'll give you a uh, look at the display. So basically on this display you have the grid power here. You have the loads, which is our sub panel. Then you have the battery bank. Okay? And it says our battery bank is at 51.6. So right now it shows with the little arrows going to the right, it shows the batteries are powering the loads, okay? When this gets down to like 46 volts, this right now, this inverter will automatically kick the grid on and bypass the batteries and feed the loads via, via the grid. But at the same time, it will charge the batteries back up. And the reason why it's doing that right now is because we don't actually have our solar panels hooked up because we're re-roofing the house. Um, so as soon as we get the ho house roofed and get the panels up, hopefully the solar grid will never actually have to charge these batteries, but maybe in the winter. So anyway, right now it shows we're using 6% of the load off of this inverter. I'll tell you guys, this is a power producing some bitch. Um, it just works. And we have um, air compressors going. We have in the sub panel, we have, um, not that they're being used right now, but we have um, two cadet wall heaters on it. Actually, over here, we have more cadet wall heaters. I'm thinking I'm going to put them in here. But on this sub panel right now, we have the well, um, two, two cadet wall heaters, and then all of the outlets and lights in the house are on this right now. And we are hardly ever, ever above... 24 30 percent on this so right now the the compressor's running outside and we got power to spare so this machine will produce power god it just it's a it's this it's a no frills power producing machine okay so hooked to this we have five 100 amp batteries all parallel together and the bus bar is on the side over here so this is the wire that came with them. When we put this bus bar down here, we have two uh, wire going up and feeding the uh, inverter through this breaker. Then we have another two watt wire coming off these and going into this breaker, into these um, bus bars. These bus bars then are all the gathering place for all of the solar charge controllers, which we will have a total of four. Right now we're waiting, like I said, the roof's getting built and redone right now. So we don't have any panels up, so none of this is hot right now. Um, but we're basically kicking it all in, waiting on two more charge controllers, a little bit more wiring. Um, off of these, these are the 100 amp Sun Gold um, charge controllers. It says you're supposed to have, out of the battery side of these, you're supposed to have two AUG wire. Not two AUG wire, but two AUG wire. Um, and then, um, we, of course, down below each one will have a shutoff for each each um, array of, of panels that are on these. And on these, basically, we have the 550-watt um, panels going in. So we could hook up two sets of four on here. So we have four, battery, or four solar panels wired in series that go into a combiner box and then get hooked up parallel to another set of four to give us a total of eight panels on these which almost maxes out the input wattage and amperage of the panels coming in for what these can handle um, and like I said those are there's gonna be four 100 amp in there um, so to feed the the CO side of this and the output we use four aug wire um, not aught not four aught but four aug wire and we have a hundred amp breaker in our commercial power that's feeding it. Um, and the reason why is those little white plastic things up there, I don't know that you could get anything bigger wire size in there. I mean, those were pretty tight. You might be able to get two AUG wire, not two AUG wire, but two AUG wire. Here's, this is two AUG wire. See the size difference? This, this is DC side. That's why it's so big. But anyway, these wires do not heat up at all ever. Even when the inverter is on charging, the batteries, these wires never ever get hot. These wires never ever get hot. Um, so, so far we're good to go there. Um, like I said guys, this, this machine is just a power producing 
machine. It just, there's, it's no frills. It is just DC power in, AC power in, and then AC power out. And on this, one thing you got to make sure is when you're on the input side, there's no neutral here. And you neutral, so you have a ground over here, and you have your two hot legs. And then this is the outgoing side, so you have two hot legs. The neutral here that the machine creates, and then a, a uh, ground, um, a chassis ground. Okay, so that's, just got to make sure that's wired right. But on the bottom of this thing, you've got a output for a... Um, a battery temperature sensor you have an output for this remote interface which is basically the same interface as that um, but this is the remote interface that you can put in the house and it's just an RG45 so you could actually run a cat 5 and just put RG45 on it because it just plugs in there's no pigtail it just plugs in so you could actually make your own there if, it, if you need to um, and then there's just one other input um, Oh, on the bottom of it, there is a, a generator remote start. So if you didn't have commercial power and you needed to charge batteries, it would switch to that and start your generator. I said, guys, I can't be more happy right now with this Sun Gold. It is just, it just, it just works. It just produce, produces power and a lot of it. Um, the only thing I wish I had researched a little bit more was the amount of panels I bought for the summertime because right now I'm not planning on going this oh and by the way guys this will not feed into the grid it will not back feed the grid it is it is um from what I can understand it is a standalone off grid or it's a hybrid because you're actually using commercial power to to charge these batteries if if solar doesn't do it but it will not back feed into the grid and I didn't want it back feeding the grid but if I did, I would probably take one of my solar arrays and put another inverter outside to power into my grid. Because if I wanted to do um, into the grid, um, net metering. So guys, it will not, this, it's not built to do it. It, is, it will not do it. It's a no frills, no frills inverter. It just produces power. Anyway, guys, um, here's my battery bank. And on these, you have... To link them together, you just use the RS-485s uh, in and outs, link them, and then set your, your dip switches accordingly. This is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. We tried this as, as, as zero. Um, that did not, they wouldn't link. And so this is number one, number two, number three. Um, guys, it, it's, it's just a good work, and so far I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, I'll let you know on the next video when we uh, actually get the panels put in and start producing our own power. Um, and when I'll, by the way, guys, using commercial power to charge these batteries and then run the system all day. Like I said, I've got to remember I'm running in a bunch of air compressors right now for roofing. And it's about a break even if you were to just to use commercial power. So if you're using this thinking you're going to save money, you're not gonna. I don't, you might save a little bit, but it's it'd be a great battery backup, for sure when power goes out. But you're not gonna save any money unless you have some solar panels up, obviously. Um, so I, I think that's it for now. Um, go ahead, and hit the like button, please, and uh, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it immensely. Until um, the next one, have a great day.